Hi friends, I'm Salman Riaz from Era24 UK and now I'm going to bring the video exam how will you be using it and how will you be creating websites how will you be creating your HTML websites or pages and subfolders and main folders so let's get started and then run as administrator So once it is started, you will see that they are right now all off. You need to turn them on, which is Apache first start. Apache started. Now we have to start MySQL. Click on it because we are going to install WordPress and WordPress requires database. This is also turned on green. Now we are going to minimize it and we are going to have a look our local dashboard reload so it's mean it is working and even though if we are going to remove this dashboard and give enter it should come same page so it is working fine okay now we are heading to our coding we are creating a, just a simple web page which we are going to use in a main domain or just on localhost where you are right now seeing this page which is showing this one so there should be a page of uh, which we are creating right now so I'm so this is a PHP page um, I'm going to save it now I'm going to save in desktop and page name will be index but this time not index HTML it will be index dot PHP save it and have a look here it is and I saved on desktop now we are going to see the SAM where we have installed where it is in C drive so double click on it here is the folder double click on it and then now we are going to work in htdocs where your old websites files will be stored and installed double click on it so here we are going to put this file so now I'm going to just move this file here and you will see how it is look like on our home page home page was this one so just enter and remove this and then enter so here you can see the message so our page is working on this server it means our hosting is properly configured and working fine so now I'm going to show you next step how we can install WordPress on our local machine so let's get started we'll go to wordpress.org and now we are going to download our WordPress the WordPress download 6.0.2 this is the latest version download it and it is the download is started downloading now now it is downloaded so we will go to we will go to our server and we are going to create a database so we will click on admin we are going to create a new database so click on new 
give a database name for example WordPress and create the database is created now so we are going to install on our server WordPress WordPress is here so we need to create a folder because I will be working on so I'll be working on subdomain on localhost so we will create a folder here right click create a folder give a name I'm giving my name Salman you can give any name or any title enter open here you are going to take this file and extract it Once it is completed, we are going to use this folder. So let's see how. So as you can see in Salman, here is the XAMPP HDDocs Salman and then we have got these two folders. So I need to double click on it double click on it control a select all cut and then we have to put here paste now we need to delete them both and now we need to check is it installed properly extracted properly so we will go on our localhost so just write on localhost localhost forward slash salman and then enter if wordpress starts so it means our files are extracted properly but now we are going to install our wordpress so let's get started continue let's go here you can give your username for example i will be giving the same wordpress password localhost is XAMPP and we don't need to change so here prefix leave it as it is just submit after that this page you can see and then run the installation click on it give your site title I will give WordPress and username I can give admin password I will copy the password and email I'll give email test at era.
install so now we need to click install wordpress here congratulations now your wordpress is installed properly and you can continue with your login page so click on the login page give your admin name you have given wordpress and password i copied so i'm going to paste it here and then try to log in no so the name is admin and i give yeah i remember admin and then password and login so now we will be logged in to our dashboard and now you can start creating your own website your on your own local host you can add as many as you want uh, the themes there are a lot of beautiful themes you can use and install so same way plugins are here you can install as many as plugins you need for your project we need to add so the good thing is this that you don't need any hosting your laptop your computer is a web hosting now so you don't need to pay anyone anything so here are the plugins depends which one you like you can install use it so we go back on dashboard I just want to show you that we have installed the same version which I have uh, extracted and installed and configured so this is the 6.0.2 version so this is the way you can install PHP files I showed you I can show you once again I can write here local host and then just enter so you will see the same file which PHP file I've created and the subdomain one which one the one I can show you here I created here because this is your server Sam and then in Sam server HD docs double click on it I created a folder Salman so as soon I mean uh, as soon as I will give here localhost Salman so this website will open and you can see how does it look like so you can go and visit our website localhost Salman so this is a fresh installation as you can see September 6 2022 the fresh installation you find on your local host and this is on your local host main where you can save and install any kind of websites also you can install WordPress and PHP files HTML files whatever you like but if you need to install a couple of websites then you have to define the subfolder so it will be good for you as I showed you that you can define a folder Salman and then another folder is era24 UK I can show you this one as well so have a look when I will put a forward slash and give era24 UK so this time will open a page which I showed you earlier the dashboard one which was showing after installation so I move this file index file which was uh, by default into error 24 UK folder so that's why you see this otherwise on localhost is the file which I have showed you PHP file so here it is other than that if you need to go to recently installed website so just write Salman and enter so you will see that is recently fresh installed WordPress.
so this is how you can install a hosting server on your windows 10 windows 11 and same way it will work on windows 7 8 8.1 um, the process is same but depends on your computer um, capacity and the memory storage and hardware you know um, so if you have any question yeah just leave me a comment and i'll get back to you as soon as possible try to share this video to those are looking for as many people as you can and uh, like my videos share and subscribe if possible i'll be grateful to you thank you very much have a great day bye